Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to the video. I'm doing great. I hope you guys are and it's a double upload. That's right boys Huge news just came out from the overwatch league Apparently a city in China is getting an overwatch league team and Paris We're going to be breaking this down talking about all the other potential cities who bought these teams and everything else that has to do with it So be sure if you're excited to watch this video drop a like click that red subscribe box and Join the family, boys. Let's go ahead and hop right into this one. So this was posted today on ESPN by Jacob Wolf. Sources, Paris and Guangzhou. I know I'm going to butcher that, guys. Don't make fun of me. Teams expected to join the Overwatch League. Activision Blizzard is finalizing agreements for two Overwatch League expansion slots with organizations representing Paris and Guangzhou, China. League sources told ESPN more teams are expected to join the league before Season 2. Wow, guys, so we could be seeing who knows 10 teams, six teams. I honestly feel like there's going to be more than four now because there's another team in China. They got to put more in Europe. With Paris joining, we have London and Paris. That's only two. There's got to at least be two more European ones. I'm thinking a Korean team has to join. We're going to talk more about this. Let me go ahead and finish reading the statement. The Paris thought will be the second Activision Blizzard has sold in Europe. If agreements finalize as expected, it will be owned by McCourt Global, the Los Angeles-based holding company that also owns French soccer team Olympic <laughs> de Marsilia. I'm going to butcher that as well, according to sources. The Guangzhou spot will be bought by Nenking Group, the umbrella company of Chinese billionaire Zong Nizhao, and <laughs> I'm butchering it, boys. I know I am. And the ownership group of Chinese Basketball Association team in Guangzhou, Long Lions, sources said. So there we go, boys. Two more teams joining the Overwatch League, and both of them are owned by sports teams. It seems as time goes on in esports, a lot of traditional sports owners want to get in, and it just keeps building and building. I'm pretty sure it's projected to be like a $20 billion business next year. That's absolutely incredible. Paris and Guangzhou lead the way for expansion of the Overwatch League, which launched in January and has seen unprecedented financial success in esports sponsorships, broadcasting right sales. The league anticipates to sell six slots within the next month with the focus outside of the United States. Of the 12 current teams in the league, nine are US based and the ownership of two of the non-American teams are based in Los Angeles and San Francisco respectively. McCourt Global and Overwatch League declined to comment. Nenking could not be reached before publication. Season 2 expansion slots in the Overwatch League are expected to sell for a range of 30 million to 60 million, sources told ESPN in June. The specific price for regional rights is determined by a number of factors, including the number of bidders, Overwatch player density, and general population in that specific city. Prior to purchasing Olympic de Marseille in August 2016, McCourt Global founder Frank McCourt previously owned the Los Angeles Dodgers. His company also owns the operating rights to the Los Angeles Marathon and a few of the parking lots around arenas. During his ownership, the Dodgers filed for bankruptcy in 2011, which was followed by a six-month legal battle between McCourt and then MLB commissioner Bud Selig. In March 2012, McCourt reached a deal to sell the Dodgers for $2 billion to Guggenheim Baseball Management, a group led by financial services executive Mark Walter that includes NBA Hall of Famer Magic Johnson, Golden State Warriors co-owner Peter Gubber, and a number of other partners. Damn, those are some big names, and he sold it for $2 billion, guys. I mean, $60 million for an Overwatch League slot, and he probably didn't even pay that much. He probably paid more like $40, $50. That's a good deal if you got $2 billion. With everybody saying how successful the league's been so far, all the money that they've been getting back, I don't blame him. I'd buy a team if I had the money, definitely. In Guangzhou, Nenking invests and develops both commercial and residential real estate, as well as in sports, pharmaceuticals, and finance. Its owner, Zong, was estimated to have a net worth of $1 billion in 2016, according to Forbes. The Guangzhou team will become the second Chinese team in the Overwatch League, the first being the Shanghai Dragons, who were founded by NetEase, a Chinese internet technology company that also distributes Blizzard Entertainment titles in China. First, I just want 
to talk here about the second Chinese team. That is so big. And uh, Shanghai Dragons, they were such a failure in the first season. 0 and 40. I mean, how bad do you have to be to go 0 and 40? They even picked up Koreans midseason. That couldn't save them. And it does seem like they want to continue to play with those Koreans going into season two. So hopefully, the second Chinese team picks up actual good Chinese players, unlike Shanghai Dragons. I want to see those players from MY. I want to see the players from LGD. The superstars in China need to come together and show that China is actually really good at Overwatch. Because we did get a taste of it pre-season one Overwatch League. A lot of the Chinese teams were doing really good, specifically MY. And then boom, out of nowhere, none of them were on the Overwatch League team, Shanghai Dragons, which is just a travesty. So sad. So this team has a chance to rewrite the history of Chinese Overwatch League. And I really do hope they get it done because the Chinese fans really deserve a good team. There's so many people in that freaking country. Like, 0 and 40? I'd be ashamed if I was Chinese, honestly. I, I would be upset at the organization because it's their fault, so. That's all I got to say about that, guys. Let's go ahead and hop back into the statement. On Friday and Saturday, the Overwatch League will host its inaugural Grand Finals at Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Several prospective future franchise owners are expected to be in attendance to meet with Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick, Overwatch League Commissioner Nate Nancer, and Activision Blizzard Esports League President and CEO Pete Vlastalica, among other league execs sources said. The league was conceived throughout 2016 and 2017 and had company support across all of not only Blizzard, but at the executive level of Activision Blizzard, the parent company whose market cap was $59 billion as of Thursday morning. Holy crap, boys! Blizzard is worth $59 bill? No wonder why this league is so amazing. They've dumped all that money into it. I don't know what to say. I'm grateful they put together something so great, and I'm excited to see these teams. Kotick, a lifetime businessman who became the CEO of Activision in 1990 before the Activision and Blizzard merger in 2007 and 2008, has been integral in recruiting buyers into the league. The slots for season one of the league sold for $20 million each to the likes of New York England Patriots owners Kraft Group, New York Mets sister company Sterling VC, and Denver Nuggets and Los Angeles Rams owners Karanki Family. Since its launch in January, the Overwatch League has become one of the most successful leagues in all of esports. The league has sold well over 200 million in sponsorships and broadcasting sales. That's insane. Thank you Toyota, thank you Sour Patch Kids, and all the other ones, boys. Its sponsorships include, oh, I guess we're going to read them off now, Intel, HP, Omen, Toyota, T-Mobile, Spotify, and more with many. They didn't mention this freaking Sour Patch Kids. What the hell, guys? With many of the deals valued at over 10 million, sources said. Damn, that's nutty. They got all those companies paying them $10 million every single year. That adds up, boys. And then they're getting 30 to 60 million for slots. What is going on? Blizzard is cashing out on this thing. Activision Blizzard also has struck broadcasting rights deals with Amazon-owned streaming platform Twitch for $90 million over the course of two years, and Disney, which consists of live programming hours on Disney XD and several ESPN channels. Disney is the parent company of ESPN. Wow, I didn't even know that Disney owned ESPN. Those guys are rich. By the way, guys, as I've mentioned, please do, if you got multiple devices or you can, turn Disney XD on when the Overwatch League is playing, also with the ESPN channels and the Twitch channel. It helps overall, gets more viewers in, shows that more people are watching, and of course, you guys want to help the Overwatch League in any way possible. All right, and that's the full statement, guys. I know that was an earful. I figured I'd read the whole thing to you because a lot of it was pretty cool and important information. Honestly, I am just so stoked that Paris is getting a team. That is one of the cities I really wanted to see, along with like Toronto and Las Vegas. Now, going back to Toronto, they better get a team. I will be extremely upset if Toronto or at least like Vancouver, somewhere in Canada needs a team, seriously. As for Las Vegas, honestly, like, you know, they probably won't get a team. It's just a city that I would really like to have an Overwatch League Team. But as they said in the statement, already 9 out of the 12 Overwatch League teams are in the USA, and 2 of them are companies that are based in the USA. So the likeliness of Las Vegas actually landing a team was pretty low. I'd say if any USA team was going to get one, I'd go with Chicago or Seattle, and I still think they have really low odds, so I wouldn't expect anything for the USA boys. I was a little bit surprised about the Chinese team. Now, I knew there would possibly be one, but I was expecting like a Korean team first, which also I do feel like a Korean team is going to join. They said they expect six slots no matter what. So four more teams, 100% will join. I'm gonna predict we got Toronto, South Korea getting another team, possibly one near like Taiwan, Indonesia, somewhere in Southeast Asia, and then one more in Europe is my guess, somewhere maybe like Berlin or something. That would probably be the hottest spot, but you never know, somewhere in like Poland, Spain, 
there could be anywhere. Sweden too. They said they were talking to Sweden about a couple months ago. So those are probably the spots coming. Maybe one of those are hit or miss, but I guarantee most of them will get picked up and maybe even more because they said six guaranteed. Now, that doesn't mean that we possibly can't get 10. Wow, imagine 22 teams in the Overwatch League next season. That would be insane. I'm super hyped to see more teams join. What about you guys? Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Which city do you want to see? Are you excited for China and Paris getting a team? And last but not least, if you enjoyed this quick update, be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel for more daily content, double uploads, boys. We doing it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am going to the Overwatch League, so it might be a late upload. I don't know if I'll post one in the morning before we go. Probably not, but there will be a video tomorrow after the Overwatch League. I am going to see it in person, boys. I'll see you later. Thank you for watching. Peace. <laughs>